Hello, welcome back to the Home Recording Weekly Blog. My name is Kern, and today I wanted to show you, basically, if you're still on the fence on which system to go with for your guitar inputting into your DAW, and you want to go with the digital approach using software, I wanted to show you what IK Multimedia has made available for the finer points in recording uh, using their software. I have amplitude fender here. I really want to concentrate on this area here and what's possible using this strip. To do this I've already taken some pictures and I'll go ahead and pull them up. What we have here is a series of buttons. Let me get a little closer for you guys. There's a series of buttons right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. As well as loading your amps and stomps, you can use these buttons to actually route your setup. Zoom in one more time. With the number one button pressed, you can see your signal routing right here. It goes basically optional into your tuner. And then you can see this line, your guitar signal or bass, goes into stomp effect a, which is a rack of stomp effects. It goes through in series to the second, or it goes all the way through these pedals and then straight into these pedals, exits into an amp, which is amp A, into cab A, your speaker enclosure, then into rack effects A, in series through rack effects B, and then into the DAW software. This is a mono setup. You can use these buttons over here to pre-select all sorts of different setups and it makes setting up your rig so much easier. The next image here is the number two selection and as you can see things are a little different. It goes into your tuner and then it splits off into two separate mono paths. So this would be a great stereo setup or a two rig setup. As you can see, it's parallel now. So one signal goes through stomp A directly into amp A, which then goes into your speaker cab and then goes into rack A and out to the software. While your second signal chain goes through your stomp box selections, a, a different amp of your choosing, a different cab of your choosing, through the rack B and then out to your DAW. Uh, one selection I have for today that I want to take you through a little bit closer is the number six preset. It's a stereo preset. The reason I chose this is it goes through stomp A, you know, two signal chains again in stereo, but here it does something different. It takes the two cabs, sums them together, and then sends the exact signal through both of the racks. So you have both amps combined, both stomps combined, both cabs combined, going into rack A and going into rack B. And they come out in stereo to your DAW. Very, very cool setup. So let me talk you through it. Here is the actual plug-in. It's a... Uh, IK Multimedia's Amplitube Fender. And as you can see, it starts in the tuner. This again is number six. And then you have your stomp selections. Now, remember, it goes in parallel. So let's say I pull up a compressor and a tremolo for the one signal, for A signal. But for B signal, I have a wah and I have a reverb. This is my A chain again. My A amp is a Fender Twin Reverb. The other signal chain, I'm using the 59 Bassman. Uh, the cabs for the A signal path, I use the Fender Twin speaker cab. And notice I can change my microphones here. I used a condenser, like a um, uh, it's almost like a 57, it's the 87, 
probably copyright infringements. And then for the B chain, I went ahead with a basement speaker enclosure, and I went with a ribbon microphone just to make things sound a little bit different. You can also put them on access or off access to the cone, and you can place it near or far, and you can add room ambience by just turning a dial. Back to the A signal chain. After it leaves the cabs, it sums together and sends the exact same signal through rack A and rack B. This is where it really sets it apart. You can put your, this is stereo now, you can put any effects on this one and then go to your B signal chain and put totally different effects so that when it comes out to your DAW, you get a little bit of difference between what's going on in your stereo field, just to set them off a little bit. Or you can even use the same if that's what you want to do. Again, it's really simple and easy to do, and it just takes you that much deeper into coming up with your own unique tones. The IK Multimedia Amplitube Fender plugin and all of their products work the same way. In fact, if I go ahead and uh, pull up the IK Multimedia's Amplitube Metal, you can see the same configuration up here. So however you come up with your tone, you get it where you want it, effects and routing and everything like that, you can also save it and that's one of the best. You can save it over here and then recall from either from scratch or from your preset list. Designing your own signal chain using IK Multimedia's guitar plugins.